Right guys, I'm just here on a after hours call to poultry farm with a Fancom FSUP controller. The controller has a bad temperature sensor which is causing the average house temperature to be way too high and it's actually sending the shed into tunnel mode so I'm just going to show you how to go about removing the sensor from the program to give you time to repair the cabling or replace the sensor. In this case I think uh, the birds uh, pick up age, it's quite late in the evening and I think uh, we'll remove the sensor from the program for the time being and come back tomorrow and, and fix the sensor when we've got the right materials. So here goes, I'm just going to show you how to remove the sensor from the program. You can see here we've got our controller. If I click down, you can see that the average house temperature is 45.6, which is pretty high. Temperature sensor 1 is reading 18.6, temp 2 14.7, temp 3 is minus 99, so that actually means that we've got a cut cable. It's not a sensor failure, it's more a case of the cable is open circuit, so that's why it's reading minus 99. Temp 4 is 16, temp 5 is 18, temp 6 is 23, temp 7 is 22, temp 8 is 199, and temp 9 is 24. You can see that we've got a problem with temp 8. We've definitely got a problem with temp 3. So I'm going to remove those two sensors from the program. How we do that is by clicking System, History and Edit to access the hidden menu. From here, when the cursor's flashing on the inputs description, I push the right arrow to enter inputs, and the cursor is also flashing alongside inside climate, so I'll push the right arrow again, and we can see all of our analog inputs for our temperature sensors. So, looks like analog input 3 has actually been removed from the program, so Remember, temp sensor 3 was reading minus 99, so it's already been removed. But we can see here that temp sensor 8, which is the other problematic sensor, has a 1 below it. That actually means that the sensor is in the program. So let's remove temp sensor 8 from the program by hovering across until our cursor is flashing below the 8. We're going to push the down arrow and change that one to a zero. We're going to hit enter. We've now got temp sensor three and temp sensor eight out of our program, and by all accounts, that should repair the average temperature measurement in the shed. And this shed should run properly now. So I'm just going to click back there, push the down arrow, and we can see now that our average house temperature is 20.3 degrees which is far more consistent with what the actual temperature in the shed is so that's it for now thank you very much hopefully this video helps cheers